Hey you guys, Erin and Max here and welcome back to the Eat Move Rest Kitchen. So we've got a nutritious and delicious chickpea patty recipe for you today. Whether you are a Chick-fil-A connoisseur or a plant-powered person, you guys are gonna love this recipe. It's much more nutritious than going through a drive-through and it's so easy to make at home. You can even make extra and pop them in the freezer to have on hand. These are baby and kid friendly and they're high in iron, high in protein and healthy fats. You like chickpeas? <laughs> For your chickpea patties, you will need one and three quarters cups of cooked chickpeas or one can of rinsed and drained chickpeas, two cups of fresh spinach, a handful of fresh parsley, one medium cooked sweet potato, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one third cup of rolled oats, one tablespoon of tahini, one tablespoon of ground flax seed, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of cumin, and salt and pepper to taste. The parsley and the cumin are kind of optional. You don't have to include them, but I've gone with kind of a falafel flavored inspired chickpea patty. So feel free to play around with whatever seasonings you like. Something like curry powder could give it a little Indian flair, so totally up to you, but this is the recipe that I really love. And I know that a lot of people aren't a big fan of tahini, so if you wanna swap it for another nut or seed butter, I would recommend almond butter or sunflower seed butter. It doesn't come across as very potent or flavorful in the recipe, so I encourage you to try tahini, but either way, just get creative. The main thing is we've got a chickpea patty to cook. All right, so we're gonna pour all of our ingredients into our food processor. You don't wanna over process because it can become a little bit too liquidy. So make sure it's just until all of the ingredients are well combined enough that you can shape them into patties. You'll wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and form about nine to 10 patties and pop your patties in for 20 minutes, flipping halfway through. We are actually using our convection oven, which means we're gonna use this basket tray that came with it and we will not have to flip our patties. So our chickpea patties are done and ready to eat. So I recommend enjoying these patties on a gluten-free bun, or if you don't wanna go the bun route, then they work great on a bed of rice or quinoa. You can break them up and put them on your salad or eat it just as is. My favorite toppings are guac and or hummus. If you guys wanna see more recipes like this, Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Join us here. We would love to have you be a part of our Eat Move Rest fam. Leave me some love in the comments below. And as always, share this with family and friends. Love you guys. Eat Move Rest, your best. Bye. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.